What? Oh. Were we supposed to do that today? My, my bad. Look, God, let me get the dog out of the way. My bad, my bad. Come on in, come on in. DMS, welcome at DMS. This is my home studio review, so to speak. So uh, let's take it back. So what we got here is uh, my, my lab, my lab. This is where I do all of my stuff over here. Obviously this is the normal desk. This is where I take all my phone calls. This is where I handle all of my video edits. All the things that I need to get done typically happen on this with the big screen. If I'm doing any type of music production, I got the push, I got the Serato Studio. Depending on which one I'm trying to use, it all kind of goes here. Moving over here, this is the, the command center. This is where everything happens live streaming related. So basically, without getting into too many details, I have currently a three camera setup. All, all Lumix type things. I have my uh, G7 up here. I have the Blackmagic 4K over here. And then the camera that's being shot with right now, this is the uh, Lumix, the Panasonic Lumix G9 with the amazing huge lens that my son says is heavy. Is it heavy? But it's a beautiful lens. See how beautiful it makes me look? Now, moving over here, we have our normal, we have a large screen. I believe this is a 30 inch uh, wide screen. This handles all of my, um, all of my video stuff um, for my ATEM. I'm a big ATEM guy, so I use the ATEM Mini Pro ISO to do all my recordings. Uh, this is basically the, the lab. This is where I do all the video shoots. So basically what you're seeing here, this is our normal table setup, which allows us to shoot this way, down, and of course, from an angle. This table was actually built. I custom built this table, so ignore how shoddy the, uh, the build quality is. But I custom built this table because I needed something that was high enough to, to allow me to still do what I needed to do. Meanwhile, when I'm not shooting my video, my YouTube content, I can just remove the table and drop down. And then I have my turntable set up with the S11, the PLX 1000s right here, my headphones. Then I have a, um, oh, we should probably talk a little bit about the lights. Um, so the lights that I use are the Ape Labs whole lighting package is all wireless, uh, which are these guys right here. I got the Ape, Lab, Ape Sticks here and here. I have the Maxi here. I got the Maxi below. These are the uh, ADJ PAR 7 X tries. I keep these on. This is a static light that always shoots the same color. Just kind of helps the vibe out. And then I have a whole bunch of these little um, eight cans, which are kind of spread out around the room. And uh, these are great. All wireless. Everything is wireless here. So I have either my wireless remote or I can use my iPad. So everything works the way it's supposed to. Uh, then, uh, this is the mic that I use. So people always wanna know what mics I'm using. This is the Rode Pod mic. I use the Rode Pod mic into the, ignore all the cords right now. We have it set up for the, uh, our event later on today. But we get the Zoom L8 that I'm currently using. Next, I'll be using the, uh, what is it, the Rodecaster? The Rodecaster Pro. Uh, before this, I was using the Yamaha um, 10 MXGU10. So that one was that one was good, uh, but I run everything through here, every all the mics because the pod mic, as good as it is, it's a little power hungry. Not a lot, but it kind of needs a little bit more power. So I run all this stuff through the mixer and then from the mixer into the ATEM. The ATEM, this is where all the magic happens. The quality of the ATEM is second to none. I love this. Then, which I haven't put up yet, I just picked up a. Um, green screen that we're gonna mount on the ceiling and we're gonna be able to just pull the green screen down whenever we wanna do any type of green screen work. Then I have additional light panels up here attached to the stand. And we're gonna put one more right here to backlight the, the green screen. So it's always a work in progress. It's always evolving, always changing. Just when I think I'm really happy with something, I'll do something else and then uh, we'll tweak it from there. So. Uh, that, I think, is all we're doing here. Uh, the wireless kit, in case you guys were wondering, um, this is 
This is the WAP. This is the Ape Labs wireless kit that just kind of sits here. The good thing about that is it can be anywhere and it'll still be able to control everything. Um, got a little bit of vinyl, got some stuff here. Not that big of a deal. And, um, oh, and then we have our test bay right here, which is uh, where any new stuff or stuff that I'm currently reviewing comes through. We have the rain setup, 72, 12s, all the MK2 lineup. Uh, later on today, we're supposed to be having the uh, rain one come. I was hoping it was gonna be here before we shot this video, but it's not. But that's the joy of being a YouTuber. Sometimes product, even though they promised that it'll be here at a certain time, doesn't get here. So uh, that's why you got the Flex 6 up here that I'm currently reviewing. This should have been reviewed weeks ago, but again, I didn't get the product in time. So um, I'm gonna review it now. That's the joy, nonstop. We are always working. And then uh, besides that, I have um, my Yamaha speakers. These are beasts. These are the sevens. Um, and then uh, bass, couple of guitars, my hats, because I need to find a place for them. Uh, another D DDJ, another DDJ 1000 SRT in here and a table, that's it. And this, con this constantly evolves all the time. Every so often something else new will come in and I'll have to shift everything back. That's the joy of being a YouTuber. We don't get to keep any of the product we have. So all of this stuff at some point is gonna need to go back. I'm sending the rain system back uh, probably on Monday and then we're gonna swap it out with the rain one and that's where the rain one's gonna go unless I'm testing and streaming. Okay. I think we hit everything. Did we hit, every, hit everything? I think so. Okay, um, in case you guys were wondering, uh, once again, this is Cleveland Terry. IG is Cleveland Terry with an underscore. And on my Twitch account, you can go to twitch.tv slash Cleveland Terry. Same as my YouTube. Same as my website, clevelandterry.com. All right, guys, that's enough. I actually got work to do. We got NAM next week. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I gotta go. We'll see you soon. Bye.